obviously a new threat that we need to address because if we're going to, we want to promote the fashion distortion model and we want to protect it. It's a gift given to you, but do you want it badly enough that we can, that we can make this become what we want it to become? Why we're doing this is because we respect them. And I was mentioning to Gene a few moments ago that every patient that comes into our office is not just a person that walks in there. There's somebody's wife, there's somebody's husband, there's somebody's mother, there's somebody's father, there's somebody's child. They're a burden in your office for how long? 10 minutes? 20 minutes? Half an hour? Maybe an hour? A difficult patient? You might spend a half an hour, an hour. That's your burden. But when you send them out the door, that's that family's burden. For how long? Five years? Ten years? The rest of their lives? We have, we have a gift, as Georg said, and we have a burden. And that burden is every person that comes into our office, their problem becomes our problem. I say that almost every day in my office, my patients say, what, what can I do? Not me, me what, what can they do? So what can I do? Should I exercise? Should I do this? I say, your problem is now my problem. I'm taking that on my shoulders. And that's the philosophy that I want all of you to have, both with your patients and with the political social part of the FDM.